Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about a new mold that I found on Amazon. So this mold made a very large candle for me and it can also be used as a planter. So I'm going to have the link for the mold in the description box below. So that way you have where to buy it from. It did take me a few pages to find a new mold to try. Um, and I wanted to try one that didn't have a lot of reviews yet. Um, so that way all of you could try something new and have a review from it. Um, so I absolutely loved this mold first off and I'm going to show you how I used it and what the end product looked like. Now, if you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. I make videos all about concrete and candles. So if you are a business owner or a fellow crafter like myself, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new videos I post in the future. Let's go ahead and jump into this so I can show you this new mold. All right, so this is the mold that I got off Amazon. Um, again, I'll have the link in the description box. So it's very similar to my oval mold. It has these washers and screws on the side that hold the mold together. Um, so, you know, when you're done, you can take these off and unmold it. Um, but it does have this part on the inside that holds the shape. And then you have your actual silicone part that you're going to pour the concrete in. So normally I am using red solo cups to mix my concrete, um, but you're going to want something bigger for this. I am using a bucket, just a plastic bucket and then just your concrete, and I use cement all for mine. Then you're also going to want a kitchen scale um, just to measure how much concrete's going in, and then you're also gonna want something to stir with. I just use these paint stirring sticks from Home Depot. You're also going to want gloves to wear so you don't get concrete all over yourself, and then also some water. I use drinking water versus tap water. I have found there's less bubbles and it's a better sheet on the outside. For a ceiling, I use polycrylic. Um, I have tested this with heat and to make sure that it isn't leaking into the candle. And it's worked perfectly for me. Um, and then along with this, you're gonna want some sanding blocks or sanding paper. And then I use a sponge brush to apply my sealer. I found that to be the best. Now for the color, we're gonna be using Direct Colors Green Concrete Pigment. All right, so in measuring this, I went ahead and put it on the scale. For my oval, I usually use about two of these red Solo cups. So eyeballing this, I figured that this would be about five of these cups, and it worked out perfectly. It came out to about 88 ounces of concrete, so about almost, or just over five pounds. All right, so now we're gonna add our water. So the ratio you want to do is three to one. So you can either measure out the water, um, but what I like to do is just add the water as I go. I do have this on the scale just so I can keep an eye on the weight of the water I'm adding, um, but I do like to add a little bit at a time just to make sure I'm not adding too much. Now, as you can see, I did add a little bit too much water. I am glad this happened though, because then I can show all of you what you can do so you don't have to waste. So I just put about a half of this red Solo cup, just a tiny bit more in here. It will have more concrete than the mold, but that's okay. Um, you know, I have other molds that I'll probably just pour that extra into. So now what you're gonna wanna do once you get it all blended in a good consistency is just stir. Stir, stir, stir for a good two or three minutes to make sure that all the bubbles come out and everything is mixed together nicely. Okay, so we're gonna do our color now. So again, we're using the green Direct Colors Concrete Pigment. 
So I'm actually going to be using a tablespoon of this. Um, if it wasn't so big, I would use a smaller spoon, but because I'm using so much of this concrete, I'm gonna be doing a whole tablespoon. And then again, you just want to stir, 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 and make sure it is all binded together. So again, a couple minutes, just make sure you're stirring and pulling down the cement on the sides of the bowl just to get it all mixed together. All right, so now it is time to pour. So the mold's all ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in the top here. So again, just pour a little bit at a time. Um, so that way you can tap the top and allow the concrete to go to the bottom before you just pour all of it on top. So here I'm just tapping and dropping it on the table to release all the air bubbles. As you can see, the bubbles are coming up and then popping at the top. That's what you want. All right, so on this mold, I don't know if you can see from this angle, but it is a little bit over the top. So I'm just gonna take this paint scraper, as I call it, and just scrape the top to make it nice and even. Normally I have my container set for two to three hours. This one I did allow to set for four just because I knew it was a lot more concrete and I didn't want to ruin it. Um, so definitely be patient when you're waiting for these to dry. So you're going to take the screws and the washers out and then I just took the bottom out and then the sides and then that way you can take the silicone part out. I was very excited <laughs> as you can see. Um, now it turned out really cool. I absolutely love it. This mold came off so easy. Um, it didn't leave any scratches on the concrete or you know any holes or anything. It did awesome. This is definitely one of my new favorite molds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sand the container. I use 60 grit and 120 grit interchangeably. So you're just gonna to want to sand the bottom and just get all the um, kind of like sharp pieces off the bottom. All right, and again, for the sealer, I use polyacrylic. So I just poured a little bit in this red cup and then I'm using my sponge brush to apply it. So first I start with my first coat on the inside of the container, and then I will do a second coat after that dries for a second. Now you can leave your outside matte if you wanted to. You don't have to seal the outside of your container. I seal all the outsides of my containers just because that's the look and the brand that I have. Um, but what's fun is you can make that choice if you want the matte or kind of the shiny finish. After that, I'll go ahead and do the top little portion of it, and then I'll do a second coat on the inside. And then I will do the bottom just to have it 
all clear coated all the way around. All right, so here's the candle it made. I absolutely love it. It held 35 ounces of wax and I used three wicks of the CD8 from Candle Science. Here is one of my cylinders that hold nine ounces, just as a size comparison. All right, so that was my video on the new molds that I found off Amazon. If you all need the link, it's in the description box below. If you do try it, let me know how it goes in the comments. And I hope you all love it as much as I did. I can't wait to make more. Now, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and it lets me know that this kind of content you all enjoy. I hope to see you all in the next video and thanks for watching.